فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وبلوفي برادز وسترز We are in the explanation of the Kitab Thalatha Al-Usul written by Shaykh Al-Islam Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahab Rahibahu Allah Ta'ala We've uh, previously spoken about three types of uh, ibadat uh, and we are now inshallah ta'ala three types which the first one was ad dua and then we spoke about uh, al-khawf and then uh, the last one that we spoke about was al-raja and today inshallah ta'ala we're going to go into the anaw'u al-rabi the fourth type min anwa' al-ibadati from the types of ibadat that the shaykh rahimahullah mentioned and uh, it is at-tawakkul, reliance. The author, rahimahullah, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, rahimahullah, rahmatan wasi'a, he says, وَدَلِيلُ التَّوَكُّلِ The evidence of tawakkul is قوله تعالى, the statement of Allah, وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَتَوَكَّلُوا إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ It is upon Allah rely, if you are true believers. وَقَوْلُهُ and also the statement of Allah, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَوَ حَسْبُهُ Anyone who relies on Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, Allah is enough for him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the author brought those two verses to prove the evidence of relying on Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So the question that arises is, what does tawakkul mean? So we're going to define tawakkul lughatan wa stilaha, technically, uh, linguistically and technically. Linguistically, the word tawakkul is masdaru tawakkala, يتوكل وهو مأخوذ من مادة وكلة التي تدل على اعتماد على الغير في أمر ما دوال توكل التوكل is the مصدر the verbal noun of توكل يتوكل and it is taken from the root word وكلة التي تدل that shows على اعتماد and it shows linguistically relying the word i'timad means to rely على الغير other than yourself or someone else or something else في أمر ما a matter, in a particular matter. It doesn't matter what that matter me, may be, but it is to rely on someone or something other than yourself. That's what it means linguistically. That is what it means uh, linguistically. And of course the word al-wakil is al-wakil is اسم من أسماء الله الحسنى. It's from it's a name from the no, uh, righteous and noble names of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. And the word الوكيل has come in the Quran مرات عديدة many times. And the scholars they give many different meanings to the word الوكيل what it means. So it is the name of Allah, but there are also a lot of meaning that are given to it. Some of the scholars, they, they say that the word Al-Wakil, the name of Allah, when they explain what it means, they say it's Hafiz, the protector. Lakum for you guys. That's what Ibn Jalil Tabari mentions in his tafsir. Also from them is Kafila bi umurikum, the one who takes over your affairs. Uh, also Sharikan, a partner with you in your affairs. You don't run your affairs by yourself. He runs it with you. And that's the speech of Mujahid ibn Jabrin. And others have said others so. ولذلك محمد ابن الشقيقي in his أضواء البيان في إضاح القرآن بالقرآن the third volume page 367 he says المعاني كلها متقاربة ومرجعها إلى شيء واحد He says the meanings that have been used regarding the word الوكيل which is a name from the names of Allah سبحانه وتعالى it goes back to one particular thing which is من يتوكل عليه وَتُفَوَّضُ الْأُمُورَ إِلَيْهِ لِيَأْتِيَ بِالْخَيْرِ وَيَدْفَعَ الشَّرَّةِ He says, it is the one who is relied on, it is the one whose matters are surrendered to him. Why? لِيَأْتِيَ بِالْخَيْرِ So he can bring good. وَيَدْفَعَ الشَّرَّةِ And that he can repel and get rid of evil from us. 
And he says, And that's only for Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So this is the meaning that it goes back to. The meaning that it goes back to is, مَن يُتَوَكَّلُ عَلَيْهِ فَتُفَوَّضُ الْأُمُورُ إِلَيْهِ لِيَأْتِيَ بِالْخَيْرِ وَيَدْفَعَ الشَّرَّةِ That's linguistic meaning. Okay? Now we move on to the uh, technical meaning. And the, t- the definition, uh, technically, which in its, in, its, uh, in reality is the best definition you could say, and it really is jami'un mani' very comprehensive, is the definition given by uh, Ibn Rajab al hambari in his book Jami'ul Ulum wal Hikam. Jami'ul Ulum wal Hikam, page um, 496 in some of the publications, and the other publication it says it in 409, so 497, and also 409. So based on different publications, that's what it says. And the f- definition he gives is, is that it's صدق اعتماد القلب على الله عز وجل في استجلاب المصالح ودفع المضار من أمور الدنيا والآخرة وكلة الأمور كلها إليه وتحقيق الإيمان بأنه لا يعطي ولا يمنع ولا يضر ولا ينفع سواه he says that it means sidq i'timad al-qalbi ala Allah. That your heart, is, your heart is truthful in relying in Him, depending on Him. In fistijlab al-masalih, in bringing good. Wadaf'il madari, and also repelling and getting rid of harm. Min umuri dunya, whether that benefit or that harm might be your worldly affairs, or whether it is your hereafter affairs. وَكِلَةُ الْأُمُورِ كُلِّهَا إِلَيْهِ And it is to surrender all affairs to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتَحْقِيقُ الْإِيمَانِ And it is also to solidify and to believe with unwavering conviction بِأَنَّهُ لَا يُعْطِي وَلَا يَمْنَعُ That no one gives and no one prevents. وَلَا يَضُرُّ وَلَا يَنْفَعُ And no one harms and no one benefits. And no one gives and no one prevents. سِوَاهُ Other than him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> So that's the, that's the definition given by Ibn Rajab al hanbali rahimahullah. And it's, it's very powerful and it's very strong. Al-Imam al-Jurjani, rahimahullah, he has a book called Al-Ta'rifat. Al-Imam al-Jurjani, rahimahullah, he has a book called Al-Ta'rifat. Page 74, he says, Al-Tawakkul, it means, huwa thiqqatu bima indallahi wal ya'su amma fi aydi nasi Which is also another good definition. He says, Al-Tawakkul is... It is to actually believe. Thiqa means what? It's to actually trust and believe. Bima عند الله that which is with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. وَالْيَأْسُ عَمَّا فِي أَيْدِ النَّاسِ And it's also to give up on everything that's in the hands of the creation. You really don't build trust what's in people's hands. You know it doesn't last. You know it can cut. You don't, There's yes. But what's in Allah's hands, you know it does not stop. Sah? That's what it means uh, according to Al-Imam Al-Jurjani rahimahullah ta'ala. So those two, inshallah ta'ala, are what, um, are what mentions the importance of, uh, of it. Um, the truth of the matter is, brothers and sisters, if a person takes, now that we've defined it, if the person takes al-akhdu bil asbab, he takes the means. He takes the means and he comes with the means. This does not get rid of and it doesn't eradicate the tawakkul in any way, form or shape. Rather, what it does is that it completes your tawakkul. It completes your tawakkul. وَلِذَلِكَ ibn al-Qayyim رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ al-Allama ibn al-Qayyim رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ He says something very powerful. So I'm going to read his statement on you. He says, التوكل من أعظم الأسباب التي يحصل بها المطلوب ويندفع بها المكروه فمن أنكر الأسباب لم يستقم معه التوكل He says very strong powerful statement He says Tawakkul is from the greatest means in which a person can gain what they are looking for And also harm is eradicated and it is repelled through a tawakkul فمن أنكر الأسباب But the person who rejects the means Who rejects the means لم يستقم معه التوكل your tawakkul will not be upright. You will not come with tawakkul as it should be. Walakin but, min tamam tawakkuli, from the complete 
manners of a tawakkul is adamur rukuni ila al is that you don't really rely on the on the means you don't wa qat'u alaqat al qalbi biha and that you cut your heart and you 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 come with unwavering conviction in the means that you've come forward with fa yakunu halu qalbihi qiyamahu billahi la biha so your situation is that the person's heart stands up for Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala and not your the means so that's very powerful the kalam of ibn al qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala and that my beloved brothers and sisters is is what distinguishes between at tawakkul wa tawakkul this is where the difference comes the difference comes between at tawakkul wa tawakkul which is coming with tawakkul which we defined and we explained what it means and at tawakkul which is actually the opposite of a tawakkul is when the person does not come with the means that are required from them are you with me brothers and <clears throat> Tawakkul, which means coming with the means, is exactly what the Prophet ﷺ urged the companions to do and has very large amount of hadiths and ayat from the Qur'an actually pro- prove that Islam is about taking the means. For example, let's take the hadith narrated by Imam Ahmad in his Musnad. Imam Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah fi sunanihima. They narrate it in their sunan. And also Imam Nasa'i brings it in his kubra. Uh, and other than him, Bisanad in Sahih, the chain of narration is authentic. Min hadith Umar ibn al Khattab, from the hadith of Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, which he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Law anakum tatawakaluna ala Allahi haqqa tawakuli, la razakakum kama yarzuku tayr, tagdu khimasan wa taruhu bitana. If you guys relied on Allah, haqqa tawakulihi, the way he deserves to be relied on. لا رزقكم الله would have provided for you كما يرزق الطير the way he provides for the bed تغدو خماصا ما معنى تغدو خماصا it means that it leaves in the morning خماصا means بطولها فارغة its stomach is empty there's nothing in it وتروح بطانا وتروح means here it comes back بطانا here means رزقها الله الله provided it for it it goes, it leaves with an empty stomach. And it comes back with a what? A full stomach. Now let's look at the bird's reliance. The bird did not just sit around and not do anything. Rather, it left in the morning. The narration mentions, Are you with me, brothers? That's why the believer, he leaves in the morning. And he doesn't sit around. He does everything in the morning. You find Muslims who are sleeping in the morning. They pray Fajr, even if they do pray Fajr. Inna lillah. Some of them don't even pray Fajr. Sah? But um, the believer wakes up early morning. And when he wakes up early morning, what does he do? He goes out and looks for his risk. As if he's not a student of knowledge or whatnot. He's out there and he's getting his risk. But Idarika, there's a statement which is attributed to the Prophet وسلم, like it is not authentic. Which is that uh, بُورِكَتْ أُمَّتِي بِبُخُورِهَا My ummah blessing has been placed in it for it in the morning. Like in the meaning, no doubt, is correct. The meaning is correct. That the person should leave in the morning. Go out there to look for the rizq of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And, are you with me, brothers? That's the time when the talib ilm, in the morning where he benefits from, he memorizes. Are you with me? One of the things that I mentioned in the book Ta'alim uh, Al-Ilm Wal Muta'alim by Zarnuji is that he says Khud harfan wa qul alfan Khud harfan wa qul alfan This is a kalam which the ulama they, they, they transmitted from one after the other I don't know who's the first person to say it but what it means is that take a word meaning take a word but repeat it and, and utter it a thousand times repetition to memorize right Talib ilm, he takes the word, meaning don't take a lot of word, don't take a lot of information. Take one hadith, take a, a quote, take two, three ayat if it is, but repeat it a thousand times. And what time is it that the person does that? He does it in the morning. Imam al-Bukhari, rahimahullah, when he was asked, what are the things that increase a person's memorization? How can a person gain memorization? What did he say? He says, he said, بِتَكْرَارْ وَإِدَامَةِ النَّظَرْ بِتَكْرَارْ وَإِدَامَةِ النَّظَرْ the way that the person can gain 
Knowledge is repetition, to repeat. And it's to consistently look over, over the masail and the matters which he has learned. So this is all in the morning. And if the person is a person who is running after the dunya and wants to gain a dunya, and of course he has good intention for it. He's got good intentions, but he's working, he's got a, the job should be done in the morning. And the person should get the job in the morning. So the bird, look at it. It came with the asbab. It came with the means. It left in the morning. It went out. And then it came back in the evening or the afternoon. And when it came back, it came back with a full stomach. And not only that, it came back for rizq, for his children. So the bird didn't sit around. So the Prophet is telling us, this is what, this is actually what tawakkul means. And of course, it goes hand in hand with the ayah in Surah Hud. That every single riding beast on the face of this earth, which you see, its provision is upon Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Allah provides for it, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah is the one who gives rizq and provision it. But the, but the animals are not going to sit around, a lion is not going to sit around and wait for Allah to provide for it. So then why you as a human who's meant to be more smarter than the animal, not be one who comes with the, with the means. Sah? Well, if you ponder and you look here, yeah, Maryama, binti Imran, are you with me, brothers? Maryama, Allah says about her in Surah to Maryam, فَأَجَاءَهَا الْمَخَاضُ إِلَىٰ جِرْعِ النَّخْلَةِ قَالَتْ يَا لَيْتَنِي مِتُّ قَبْلَ هَذَا وَكُنْتُ نَسْيًا مَنْسِيًّا When the uh, time of birth came to her, and she was about to give birth, are you with me? What is it? And she's and every one of us here understands the situation of a woman who's given birth. The matter is not easy. It's actually a hard and a tough time. Maryam bint Imran, what did Allah wa ta'ala tell her to do? She wants to uh, nourish herself. She wants to eat. She relies on Allah wa ta'ala and she also comes with the means. Look what Allah says to her. What does Allah say to her? تُسَاقِطْ عَلَيْكِ رُطْوَةً جَنِيَةً yeah, it's not just going to come. Allah can just say to the tree, the palm, the, Allah tells her, move the tree from the root. Shake it. And all of these are going to come falling on you. Are you with me? <coughs> it's all going to fall onto you. Why didn't Allah wa ta'ala just tell her to sit down and relax? Don't worry, I will bring the dates for you. It will come into your palm. La. This is not going to come to you unless you work for it. The same is what with Nabiullah Ayyub. When his illnesses was external and internal, he was sick inside and he was sick. Are you with me? In the sense where his illness reached inside him internally, in his, uh, in his internal parts of his organs. And he was also sick from outside, as, it is said, as it's mentioned in his story, Sirah. Are you there? And he called unto Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. He said, Harm has touched me. And you are the most merciful, oh Allah. What did Allah wa ta'ala tell him? Nabiullah Ayyub. What did Allah say to him? Allah tells him, get your leg, smack it against the floor. Water is going to come out from. Allah doesn't just tell the water to gush out. Allah can, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it goes against at tawakkul You have to come with some effort. You have to come with some hard work. In order to see the results of. So this is the difference between At-Tawakkul wa Tawakkul. Tawakkul means Adam al bil asbab The person doesn't take the means. Are you there brothers? He just relies on the goal. And that is It's dim-wittedness. It doesn't rationally and logically make sense. So how would Islam, a religion that does not go against the sound rationality, does not go against the sound mind. How would it be a religion that tells you to sit around and that everything will come to you? It's not like that. Well, the Prophet ﷺ, look at this. Look at this, my beloved brothers and sisters. The hadith that's very well known, which is Hadith Mu'ad ibn Jabal. The Prophet ﷺ, what did he say? Ya Mu'ad, tadini ma haqqullahi ala al-ibad. Mu'ad. Do you know the rights of Allah? This hadith is Sahih Muslim. Ya Mu'ad, do you know the rights of Allah upon the creation? Wa mahaqqul ibadi ala Allah and the right of the creation over Allah. Allah is the one who placed the responsibility, uh, the rights on Himself regarding His creation. He's the one who placed it on Himself. No one placed it on Him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and the lutfi wa rahmati comes from his mercy and his tenderness and his kindness. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah says to him, Do you know this Mu'ad? Do you know what it is? Qala Mu'ad responded by saying, Allah wa Rasulu a'lam, Allah and his messenger know. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Fa inna haqqa Allahi alil ibadi, an ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bihi shay'a, wa haqqu al-ibadi ala Allahi azza wa jalla, an la yu'adhiba ban la yushrik bihi shay'a. The rights of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, on his creation is what? That they worship him alone and they do not associate partners with him. And the rights of the creation that Allah placed on himself, no one placed it on him, is that that he won't punish them if they don't associate partners with him. Then Mu'ad said, Ya Rasulullah, أَفَلَا أُبَشِّرُ النَّاسَ Should I not give the people glad tidings? Should I not go out there and tell the people? The Prophet, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi responded, the Prophet of Allah, they responded by saying to him, لَا تُبَشِّرْهُمْ Don't give them a glad tidings regarding this. فَيَتَّكِلُوا They're going to rely on it. فَيَتَّكِلُوا They're going to rely on it. So this, my beloved brothers and sisters, is what? قَاعِدَةٌ jalila. It's a powerful principle the Prophet is teaching us here. And what's that principle which he's te- teaching us? That تَرْكُ amal, Leaving of actions is not what the Sharia wants you to do. The people might rely on this goal and leave of actions. Well, also there's another narration, another hadith, which Al-Imam uh, Muslim narrated. And that is Abu Huraira. <coughs> Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu um, went out to tell the people. <coughs> Remember the narration when Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu went to give glad tidings to the people, the one who says, La ilaha illallah is going to enter Jannah. Based on whose command? The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Then Umar radiallahu anhu huh, physically hurt Abu, uh, Abu Hurairah. And he brought Abu Hurairah to the Prophet. And he said to the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, bi abi anta wa ummi, I free my mother for you. Aba'atta Abu Hurairah tabina alika? Did you send Abu Hurairah with your shoe? And did you say to him, Man laqiya yashhadu an la ilaha illallah, mustaqeeman biha qalbuhu bash, bashirhu bil jannah? Give him the glad tidings of Jannah. Is that what you said? Qala na'am. The Prophet said, yes, I did say that to him. I said to him, if you meet anyone and that comes in front of you and you meet them who testifies that there is none worthy of worship except Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala and whose heart is steadfast upon that, upright, bashirhu bil jannah. Give him the glad tidings of Jannah. Did you send him out for this Abu Hurairah? Uh, the Pro- uh, Umar asked. The Prophet said, yes, I did. Then, Umar then said, أَفَلَا تَفْعَلْ If you didn't do that, O Messenger of Allah, فَإِنِّي أَخْشَى أَنْ يَتَّكِلَ النَّاسُ عَلَيْهَا I'm scared that the people may rely on this. The people are sick, amongst them are sick people, and they may rely on it. فَخَلِّهِمْ يَعْمَلُونَ O Messenger of Allah, leave them and let them do their actions that come with it. Then the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in agreement with Umar, what did he say? فَخَلِّهِمْ يَعْمَلُونَ Okay, leave the people, let them do it. So what's, ta- what's taken from this? What's taken from this hadith is that, and the hadith before it is that the word at-tawakul and ittikal, both of them, which are the same, it means يعني عدم العمل is when the person doesn't come with the actions and doesn't come with the means that are needed from them. It's عدم العمل وعدم الأخذيب الأسباب And that, as we can see brothers, is not what أن ذلك ليس من التوكل في شيء That has nothing to do with at-tawakul. It has nothing to do with what? التوكل. And it is not the tawakkul which Allah refers to in the verses that the author brought. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ The one who relies on Allah, Allah is enough for him. That's not the, that person hasn't come with the tawakkul. And that person hasn't come with the tawakkul which Allah says, وَعَلَيْهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلُوا إِنْ كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And upon Allah rely if you are true believers. You haven't trust, you haven't. You haven't. And also, وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِزْقُكُمْ وَمَا تُعَدُونَ فَوَرَبِّ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِثْلَ مَا أَنَّكُمْ تَنْطِقُونَ All of those verses which Allah says that your provision is in my hands, it does not mean that you sit around and you say Allah is going to provide for, for me. That Allah is going to provide for me. And here, this issue that we're talking about, which is tawakkul. My beloved brothers and sisters, tawakkul is ibadatun qalbiyya, it's amal qalb. It's an action of the heart. 
لا يتم الإيمان العبد a person's iman will not be complete إلا إذا حققها unless he comes with it the way he should unless he comes with it ولذلك look at the ayah that the author brought وعلى الله upon Allah فتوكلوا rely إن كنتم مؤمنين if you are believers so the tawakkul is mentioned next to what? Iman so your Iman will not be true and the haqiqatul Iman the true essence of Iman what it is you're not going to come with it unless you unless you come with at tawakkul reliance based on the definition that we gave regarding it right based of based on how we defined it but what is also notable and that we need we need to uh, bring to your attention is the ayah what does it do it says wa ala allah upon allah fatawakkalu the jar and the majrur have been placed before the muta'allaq the thing that is connected to the thing that it's what connected to which is what fatawakkalu fatawakkalu rely upon allah upon allah is connected to reliance sahih so the jar and the majrur the harf jar which is ala and the word the lafzul jalala allah both of them which is anjar and majrur are both connected to fatawakkalu but what happened is fatawakkalu fell after wa'ala allahi and the arabic principle is what taqdimu ma haqquhu ta'khir yufidu al-hasr if you place something that should have been delayed if you take it forward and you place it forward it for it shows exclusivity it shows exclusivity. In other words, what it shows here right now is that don't rely on anybody except who? Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. If you are true believers. If you are true believers. And then the ayah that the author brought, it shows ikhlas at tawakkul Sincerity in at tawakkul And that you don't associate anyone with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala in it. In it. Are you with me, brothers? Because a lot of the times we see, especially in this time that we're living, especially in the back in Africa and countries like that, and Asia, countries that you know, Pakistan and India and Somalia and other countries like that, people don't come with the means, and they have this so-called supposed tawakkul, which is re in reality, as we said, it is a tawakkul and it's tikal, sah, and it is not the tawakkul which we're referring to. They're like that. They sit around, they don't do nothing, and they say Allah is going to provide. And this is what? It's a wahyu shaytan. It's a revelation from shaytan. But countries like this, the West, the opposite is the truth. Which is what? They rely on the means. The people have placed their hearts i'timad kulli. They fully rely on the means. Are you there? How do you know? If he loses his job, his key, he thinks of committing suicide. He becomes suicidal. And he wants to throw himself off a bridge. He wants to take tablets which kill him. His whole life becomes tight. If his bills doesn't come through, are you there? If his bills doesn't come through or something happens or whatever, what happens to him? He lives in depression, anxieties, distress. So, the tawakkul here, my brothers, the ayah refuted both refuted both the ones who rely on the means it says وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَتَوَكَّلُوا rely on Allah in Kutum and it was, it was also refuted the people who didn't come with the what? the ones who left off actions and left off the means how did it refute them? أَصَالَةً in the, whole, in the first point first first point they haven't even come with the tawakkul what they came with was, was tawakkul and the ayah used وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَتَوَكَّلُوا in Kuntum Mu'minin. And then if you look at the religion of Al-Islam, it's between what? It is, it's between Al-Ifrat wa Tafrid. Al-Ifrat wa Tafrid. It is negligence and extremism. Islam sits in between the two of them. It doesn't go overboard by relying on the asbab and the means. Uh, and, and fully having full reliance on the means and they also do, don't neglect they do not neglect coming with the means they know the means قد, it could happen and تعطل, the means could be what 
it could be disabled. It could be disabled. Are you there? Look at it, for example, we know in the Quran that the fire burns. We know that's something that doesn't have to be proven. Huh? It's empirical, right? That fire burns is something which is mahsus. It's not ma'lum bil darura. It's all out of necessity. The child that's born has an innate ability to understand that the fire burns. You don't need to teach him. It got disabled for Nabiullah Ibrahim. It's a means to burn. This means got what? Disabled. Are you with me? So it could happen that the means could be disabled. Are you there, brothers? How many people have done things that kill? They, it kills. They fell off a, off a 40 storage huh, building. Or they took a poison. They're, they're, like, they're more alive than you are. <laughs> They're walking on the face of this earth. Huh? So the issue is, is that the asbab, the means, you don't rely on them. You, you rely on Allah wa ta'ala. But there is a hadith, my beloved brothers and sisters, which is, if I could say, is one of the beautifulest hadith to have come regarding this particular issue, which is a tawakkul, reliance. Um, it has come. And an Imam al-Bukhari narrated in his Sahih from the Hadith of Abu Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu based on the Hadith of Abu Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. But before I mention this Hadith, this powerful Hadith, which I will, inshallah ta'ala, there's a statement I, I missed and I want to bring it to your attention, inshallah ta'ala. And that's a statement said by Sa'id ibn Jubayr, the great Tabi'i, the great student of who? Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He said something about tawakkul. Because remember we brought the ayah وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَتَوَكَّلُوا إِنْ كُتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Sa'id ibn Jubayr said that the tawakkul is what? At-tawakkul jima'u al-iman. Tawakkul is the, the jima' the final overall conclusion of iman. That's what he said. Sa'id ibn Jubayr. And that is supported. Misdaq qawluhu ta'ala. It goes hand in hand and is backed by qawluhu ta'ala wa ala Allahi fatawakkalu in kuntum mu'minin. So if a person, his reliance in Allah is weak, his reliance in Allah is weak, there's a deficiency in his what? His iman. It's a deficiency in his iman. And the amalul qalb, an action of the heart, is weak here at this particular point. But let's go back to the hadith that I said. That was very powerful in this particular situation. And this hadith, inshallah ta'ala, shows us, shows us how powerful the true believers of Allah, the righteous people, how their tawakkul is like. This hadith, as I said, is narrated in the most authentic book after the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is what? Sahih al-Bukhari. On the authority of Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So this hadith, this story that I'm going to tell you guys, is it going to be of what? What caliber? Authentic. Authentic. Then the Prophet ﷺ, he tells us a story. And there was a man This is a story of the people of Banu Israel, which were the previous nations. <coughs> the Prophet is telling us a story about them. And as you know, the Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith, Hadith wa Abbani Israel wa la haraj. Talk about the people of Israel, Ibn Israel. There's no harm in it. And the other narration, the Prophet ﷺ says that in the story of the people of Bani Israel, there's hikam, there is wisdom, and there are lessons in their in their lives. So it's, subhanAllah, you see things that are amazing. And now he Rajul min Bani Israel. The Prophet ﷺ told, told us. <coughs> About a man of the people of uh, Banu Israel. And, uh, as you guys know, who was uh, Israel? Yeah. Alayhi salam. <laughs> Banu Israel. Israel is Ya'qub, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Ali. Imran. Kullu ta'ami kana hilla libani Israel. Kullu ta'ami kana hilla libani Israel. Illa ma harrama Israel ala nafsi min qabli antunazzalat tawrah. Israel here is Ya'qub alayhi salam. 
So that's why they called Banu Israel the children of Israel, meaning the children of Yaqub. And there a man from Banu Israel, Sa'ala Ba'da Banu Israel, he asked a, some of the people of Banu Israel, he asked another person to give him a Yusrifahu that he borrows him and lends him Alf a dinar, a thousand dinar. So when he asked him for a thousand dinar, and you guys know the dinar, the worth that is, huh? Dinar is what? Is it gold? Yeah? Dinar is gold, right? The dirham is silver, right? Hmm. So it's not like it's not very small. He's asking for a very large amount of money. So the man said to him, Bring me a witness. Bring me witnesses who can testify to you, who testimony that I can give you this money. The man responded by saying, Kafa billahi shahidan. Allah is enough for a witness. Allah is enough a witness for us. He says, Fatini bi kafil. Okay, bring me a person who's a kafil on you. Kafala is a what? A person who can, if for example you don't bring the money, he can bring the money in your in your position. A guarantor, naam. You know, when you, a guarantor, bring a guarantor. And he responded, he said, Kafa billahi kafilan. Allah is enough for me as a guarantor. The man, because they were iman and those people there, you know, when the fitrah is salim, the man responded and said to him, Sadaqta, you have told the truth. Kafa billahi shahidan. Allah is enough for you as a witness. And also, Kafa billahi kafilan. And that Allah is enough for you as a guarantor. Sadaqta, you have told the truth. That's true. فَدَفَعَهُ إِلَيْهِ عَلَىٰ أَجْلِ مُسَمَّنْ He gave it to him, عَلَىٰ أَجْلِ مُسَمَّنْ He gave it to him for a period of time. Uh, they narrowed down and they reached a particular date. So this is when I want my money back, basically. فَقَرَجَ فِي الْبَحْرِ فَقَضَ حَاجَتُهُ The man, he was a man, you know, who used to trade and merchandise. So he hit the he hit the ocean. You see, and he left for his business and what he was doing. ثُمَّ الْتَمَسَ مَرْكَبًا يَرْكَبُهَا يَقْدَمُ عَلَيْهِ لِلْأَجْلِ الَّذِي أَجَلَهُ فَلَمْ يَجِدْ مَرْكَبًا so what happened was this individual he done his business and so now came the time where he had to pay back the money he had to pay back the money to the, the man who took it from so when he tried to find a ship or something to take are you with me brothers a ship to take to go to the individual in which he gave the money to uh, sorry he took the money from he never he couldn't find a ship because he's on the other side of the sea and this man is on the other side of the sea so he's trying to look for a ship or a boat or whatever it is that he can take to go to the other side to give this man his money the time is up now he has to give it to him he couldn't find something to ride on as he waited and waited and nothing came he found a wood a piece piece of wood and he sliced it and he placed inside the, the, the wood the alpha dinar that was given to him. He placed it inside there. And he placed a letter in there. And he wrote a letter and he placed a letter in there. To the person which he gave the money. The one that gave him the money. Now pay attention here. When he did that, the log... He placed it. This is not money that's five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds. This is actually a year's provision for some people. Now what he's doing is, is that he places it inside a log which he saw on the sea. He then pushes it after he wrote a letter. Are you with me? And then he pushes it. And this is what he says. He says, Allahumma inna ka ta'lamu anni kuntu salaftu fulan alfa dinarin fasa'alani kafilan the other man on the other side made his dua, not the one who, who gave the money. The other man, are you there? Who gave the money to the other one? Who's on the other side? He's waiting. He's waiting for the guy to come. He's waiting for him on the other side of the sea, hoping when is the guy who, who I gave him the money? When is he gonna come? So the it gets dark. Nothing's coming. 
So he says something to Allah. He says, Allahumma innaka ta'lamu. Oh Allah, you know. Anni kuntu salaftu fulanan alfa dinar. Oh Allah, you know. You know. That I lended thousand dinar to a man who asked me for it. And I asked him. So this dua, sorry my beloved brothers, this dua is coming from the man who gave the money. So the man who took the money, the man who took the money, he's the one who's making this dua. He says, oh Allah, you know that a man gave, uh, salaf to fulan and alfa dinarin, fasa'alani kafiran. A man had given me a thousand dinar. Are you there? He asked me for a kafir. And I said, Allah is my kafir. And he became pleased with that. And he asked me for a witness. فَقُلْتُ I said, كَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا Allah is enough for me a witness. فَرَضِيَ بِذَلِكَ And that man became pleased with that. وَإِنِّي جَهَدْتُ أَنْ أَجِدَ مَرْكِبًا And I strove hard. And I put my effort and hard work in making sure that I go to him. And then I meet him. That I can give him his money. فَلَمْ أَجِدْ I could not find anybody or anything to take to go to him. وَإِنِّي أَسْتَوْدِعُكَهَا أَسْتَوْدِعُكَهَا وَإِنِّي Oh Allah أَسْتَوْدِعُكَهَا I place this in your shelter and I rely to with you I place this in your protection basically فَرَمَا فِي الْبَحْرِ He threw the log into the sea حَتَّى وَلَجَتْ فِيهِ Until it the water took it and it waved and it waved, swove, swove, wave, you know, waves were coming. Ma'adalika, he still didn't leave the place. He still didn't leave the place. He waited for a boat, still wants to take a boat. <coughs> the other man on the other side is waiting for his. He's waiting for what? He's waiting for the uh, boat to come or something. Since the man might be in this one, huh? Uh, and his wealth might be here. Are you there? So as he, they say the narration, the Bukhari mentions that he sees a log. Some of the riwayat and some of the stories mention that the man he waited for so long and it got dark, and he said, you know, Subhanallah, nothing has come. I don't know what to do. You know, let me just at least take this log to my family. To uh, burn it, so food, so I can we can cook food from it. We can use this log as a form of uh, burning it and uh, make food for my family from it. And then guess what? When he opened the log, he had found inside the log, inside the log, the elf dinar. He found inside it, and he found a letter that was in it. Are you there? So he found his thousand dinar and he also found a letter that explained everything to him. The other one on the other side strove so hard and he put every effort that he could. Are you there? In finding a what? A ship. So he found a ship. He came to the destination. Are you there? And at this particular point, what does he have with him? He has Alfa Dina. He still wants to, he wants, maybe the other one didn't get to the man. <coughs> so when he came and he met the man who lended him the money and they met each other, he said to him, I tried hard. I gave every effort there was to come to you in time, but I couldn't. And he apologized. And the man said to him, the man said to him, are you there? The man said to him in response. He said to him, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ أَدَّى عَنْكَ الَّذِي بَعَثْتَ فِي الْخَشَبَةِ Allah paid it off from you. And that which you have placed inside the log has reached us. فَانْصَرِفْ بِالْأَلْفِ الدِّينَارِ رَاشِدًا Go back with your thousand dinar which you came with. Go back. Allah has paid it off from you. Allah has paid it off from you. You don't have to give us anything. This shocks me because 
how the first one relied on Allah and he knew Allah would not forsake him. But he also came with the means. Look how he still strove to make sure that he comes. Al-Akhdu bil-Asbab. This is tawakkul. This is the true meaning of tawakkul. What also shocks me is that the other one who got the money didn't lie about the money and didn't say, oh, I ain't get no money. But he was honest and was sincere about it. And he told his brother, I got the money. Allah had paid it from you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah ta'ala, we are inshallah ta'ala going to carry on this point of tawakkul. We haven't finished yet to have more understanding of it. Um, so we're going to carry on inshallah ta'ala, bring more narrations and some more issues uh, pertaining to it. I want to speak about Mawatin at Tawakkul. Uh, next lesson, Bidnilla al Kareem. Anything which I have said that was wrong, incorrect, mistake, then it is from me and Shaytan, and Allah and His Messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.